Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2, Long War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and we're playing a legendary Iron Man of Better One of the Mod. Uh, we are in month number six, almost um, kind of in the middle of month number six, and this is the last preparation mission. Uh, I think before we can finally get to the network towers, the situation is still the same. We're battling for the um, superiority um, and the control over. Uh, uh, the continent of Africa. <clears throat> Today we're looking at Operation Blood Witch, which we over-infiltrated. We're at 132%. Our squad uh, that we're going to uh, to be using will be led by Harbringer, our uh, skirmisher. Um, it's a pretty well-rounded squad, and with 15 enemies, we should be able to recover the item in time. So let's jump right into the mission. Bef what? Wait a second, just one last thing. Where are we fighting? Hmm, okay, it doesn't tell me the landscape. Uh, that usually only is available when you infiltrate the mission, but I think we're going to be fine either way. Uh, let's go and see how this one is turning out. And there we go, we just landed. Let's take a look. Got a huge shopping mall over here. Oh my gosh, but it's a long, long way. So although this high ground here is great, it will not mean anything for us. As we need to probably sprint pretty much to get there. Let's take Oscar Mike. And move as far as we can. Time for us to move up. Let's disable the drone. Overdrive here. Spots out even more enemies. Okay. Well, gotta make sure that we disable this drone here. Uh, ouch. Not even a hundred percent chance. I know we do have a dark event going, which might be a permanent dark event for now. Basically improving the hack resistance of many of the enemies. And I am wondering, it's probably a good idea to get the sniper into an elevated position. It doesn't seem like we can go very far without um, having some some sort of conflict. Scooter begins to move in. I'm just preparing for essentially being spotted out. I'm not using the grappling hook yet. Instead, let's move Harbringer a bit further to the front. And Pitbull has plasma grenades. So the thing is, plasma grenades would explode the car. Could I... Nah, just so close. Couldn't explode it. We're steadying our weapon. Overwatch with everyone else. If I could have reached the car with the grenade, believe me, I would have even started pulling them because it would have been an extra explosion. Oh, I probably could have killed all three of them right, right there, right now. But unfortunately, it didn't work out. Instead, another pack appears. Two mechs and it appears two additional two additional advents. 
And we're being spotted out like I was almost predicting it. Okay. Only the best. Watch the blanks. At least our Overwatch was successful. So we got two mechs. And luckily we got some high ground over here. The mech archer needs to die first. Nice little death from above. We still have the option to holo target someone. Go for another shot. Hmm. Or, alternatively, yeah, we're whiplashing, that is the idea. Okay, so whiplash deals 12 points of damage, which means we are marking... Oh, we can't see the other mech. That is too bad. We're still trying to just kill it. 80% shot missed. Okay. Well, the justice pull would definitely deal with the problem of him being in full cover. So we might want to hold a target. Grabbing the stun lance out of full cover. Killing it and getting our extra attack that way. That's a little advanced scope. And this should be another kill. We're missing a lot of high <clears throat> percentage shots. Although that it would be a kill. I'm still somewhat cautious with the other mech. almost down. Which means us moving a bit closer. And handing over our action. Will give us another attempt. And that's the kill of the mech. Stun Lancer uh, still has the possibility to simply charge in, which we have effectively don't want to let happen. Can't fully reach him, so we're rapid deploying a flashbang grenade here, just to make sure that he's not lancing. As everyone knows by now, lancers got a lance. So we want to prevent that from happening. And instead we're starting to hit the drone. Slowly but surely.
Scooter gets the 8 protocol. In case the Lancer takes a shot at him. And we're killing the draw. <laughs> the drone was exploding way too cinematic. Poof. Yeah, there's the next pack. So we had a pack of four. We had a pack of four. And a drone that's five. And another drone that's six. Okay. All right. In terms of. Progressing. Um, let's make sure that we're not pulling too many others. I cannot pass uh, the opportunity to explode the car here. That should kill both of them. Okay. Car doesn't even explode. Oh my god. Changing our perspective a little bit. Time to grapple up here. Then move all the way up to here. Hopefully not pulling someone else. Killing one. Killing two. Time for a sniper to join. Well, almost time for our sniper to join. Let's first soften him up. All right, that didn't work. Soften him up a little bit more. Lots of 70% shots that we're missing. Heading to that location. Moving over. 50-50 to soften him up. That's the weakest softening that I've seen in a while. Good, let's try to kill the Viper instead. Check it before you get too close. And we're steadying our weapon. This here may be a kill, and maybe we're triggering another pack. Barely not a kill, but we do have re uh, retaliation if he tries to take us in melee, uh, melee. We're essentially going to kill him. Not sure if the AI knows about that. Apparently it does. All the Lancers are, all, are ever doing is basically suiciding. Yeah, it sucks that Pitbull here took some damage. I wish we could have prevented that from happening. But unfortunately, we missed a lot of shots and were unlucky on the damage part. Not very surprising that the Stun Lancer 
eventually dies. So let's uh, think through. We had a pack of four, two drones, that's six, a pack of three, that's nine enemies right there. Okay. Moving up all the way to get some loot. And the name of the game now is double moving, moving and getting position. ready for potential uh, reinforcements. I don't think that we can uh, continue to like take the high ground with a sniper. That's most likely not going to work. So we're moving Running. him up as well. We've lost the ability to scout ahead because concealment is gone. Looks like they called in backup. And there's basically the call for reinforcements. On the move. Full cover. Take a look into the cathedral. A great place for a firefight, by the way. That's the one time where I wish we would have a firefight indoors. Just because the amb ambient is interesting. It is very appealing. As you order. Really? Oh, okay. Well, not really a problem. Moving in. We're missing a lot of high uh, percentage shots, unfortunately. It's 10 of them down, five more to go. Pitbull moves up. Out. And we are ready for another round of overwatches. Let's hope that we're at least trying to kill one or two of them. It's probably not going to happen because we only had three overwatches. Shield bearer and a rocketeer. Well, we almost killed one. Who would have guessed, right? Church walls are beginning to burn down. Perfect. We are hopefully killing this guy over here. Moving over. That's an extra shot. 
right there. And we're charging in. Four more turns, and I think so far we're doing okay. Got it, moving. moving closer, partially into half cover. I'm trusting you here. I want to stay outside so that we theoretically can grapple upwards. Moving into a position so that we can storm through the door next round. Reload here. And we still have plenty of ammunition, so we're steadying the weapon. Kill 10 plus the reinforcements, which means a maximum of 5. Potentially even only 3 enemies remain. More reinforcements are coming in, out. but we can't wait for that to happen, by the way. Totally forgot to get us out of here. This is Firebrand. Evac request confirmed. Hold tight. I've got eyes on an admin position. <laughs> Right. Good. Let's take a one thing at a time. Utilizing hook. We're moving in. And there are the last two enemies, by the way. Good job, Saiken. Just pull the entire map. Good job, buddy. All right, moving down here, which I originally intended. Whiplashing as a free action. Of course, it misses. I can kill him, but we also do have the option for Blade Storm. So. It is not the entirely the end of the world if if uh, we're not killing him. Let's first of all take the turns of everyone else. Remember how I said I wanted to still have the option to grapple? Well, steady weapon comes in handy. Because that did not count as movement. Let's kill the Viper. Very nice. Let's try to even kill this guy. Yeah, maybe a bit greedy.
Well, this could be a kill. That's a free action, so no reason not to take it. Disorienting both of them. I see flanking the sector that I was hoping for a bit more damage, to be honest. We're fortifying our position. Believe it or not, that's probably a higher chance to kill him, because uh, this will be a hit, but it won't kill him. So let's try to get the advent. Good job. That frees up our ability to, heal, uh, uh, to hit, the, hit the sector. And of course, we're just grazing shot. But his weapon was stronger, so it was the right thing to do. Seven hit points. Well, if we hit him, we can kill him. Fortunately, only grazed. That would leave us in the open. I don't want to do that. This is completely overkill. But at least no one would be in anything less than full cover. Enemy eliminated. Nice, advanced scope is good. Reinforcements will be uh, showing up. Oh, that's a nasty pack. Difficult to get rid of. If both of the priests will have sustenance. But maybe they are running through the red, uh, the blade storm. Yep. Then again. Only grazed. There's heavy fire in this zone. Gosh. Okay. Sniper has only one potential target. Hmm. Moving in, that might provoke the overwatch shot. And we're pulling him close because his sustenance uh, then 
my trigger. But basically, yeah. It didn't, but if it would have triggered, we would have essentially had a chance to simply kill him regardless. This should not trigger Overwatch. Said we're nicely flanking. Done deal. I don't care if we're getting hit. He deserved it. Kill confirmed. Very satisfying. Got him. Good, and last but certainly not least, let's try to get him down. No, didn't work. Not even close. Oh, I forgot we also, we still have The option to flank him. Absolutely. Very good. That's how it's done. Good. We cleaned up everyone. More hostiles inbound. In this particular circumstance, I would simply say let's. Let someone else do the hack. I'm in. Good. Let us uh, take decent positions where we have a nice little overview. Such as here, pulling everyone together. Pitbull needs to reload to be able to overwatch. Reload, overwatch, overwatch. Harbringer, Reload, and Overwatch. Good. Positioning ourselves over here. And they are dropping in even more reinforcements. That's a pretty tough pack, but we do have the advantage of already having Overwatches ready. Yep, that's one down. What's happening with the second one? Super slow mo. That's right. Well, two down. Advent forces moving on our position. Not bad at all. That's the good old 98% miss chance. Or let me rather rephrase that. That's the good, good old 98% uh, shot that you're missing. You
couple more kills, which is great. This here is the typical place where they uh, drop their reinforcements. Might as well position ourselves right on top of it. And Overwatch. Pitbull, reload, Overwatch. Overdrive, reload, Overwatch. And Scooter can Overwatch as well. So that's four Overwatches. Yeah, they're changing the drop location a bit. Probably a good idea. good overwatches more of them coming in. and more reinforcements coming in perfect next turn we're going to move away Which means I'm not sorry about destroying this cover. Did the tree even take damage? No. It's, it's still very much there. Okay, a bit of a strange move here, but I still like to do it. Which is prolonging our movement so that we can get into a flanking position. And then we're killing the alien scum. Very nice. Okay. Time to pay back on the stun lances. Good riddance. Nicely done. Oh yeah. Reload Overwatch. Overwatch. And Overwatch. Overwatch. <laughs> they are now bringing in heavier platoons. It's just going to grow worse and worse from now on. Well, luckily that was the last turn. We can finally get out of here. That's 48 hit points just to kill the pack. Cavalry's here. This is Firebrand. It's time to go. Good. Getting everyone out of here. I think the mission overall had been a reasonable success. Yeah, 
We killed a lot of aliens. And we only took, I think, two, so uh, two of our soldiers took any damage, if I'm not mistaken. The Vipers and their incredible high dodge rating. Only grazing shots, all three of them. Mind you, we're flanking the Viper. Good old 99% shot that missed. We had an 89, uh, 98 and 99% shot both missing in the same mission. That is rare. Yep, the Viper indeed survived. All of the shots. <laughs> okay, that's one sturdy Viper. 30 enemy killed, uh, killed, and we only took mild damage. Great. Good. So, only lightly wounded. It will. Got a few wounds, and. I think we're going for low profile again. I also like uh, the long watch. Well, it's not bad. But low profile is better. Not really helpful for him. No, we're waiting for combat fitness. Scooter, on the other hand, definitely takes fortify. And once we have enough uh, points, we're going to go for formidable. I want to give him XCOM points. Oh, so good. So, what do we have here? Um, Targeted by an attack, enemy can panic, okay. Run gun definitely is good. I mean, for him it's not exclusive, he can take multiples, right? And aggression is also pretty damn helpful. Thinking about formidable and run and gun. This one isn't bad either. So either run and gun or zero in and formidable. As a hero class, we're definitely going to max out as much as we can. Uh, Harboring a will be in our main SWAT. Simply because the hero classes can take all skills of all three trees and that makes them incredibly more powerful. I would uh, say we're going for run and gun because it's a strong ability, formidable just to be more tanky. And I made the decision that uh, for the rookies, like the, the ones that we're hiring now, Kind of the, not the prime, the second, the third, the fourth, the fifth uh, team, more kind of the sixth and seventh team. I will do different skill builds uh, just to spice it up and make it more interesting. I don't really care about these soldiers too much. Um, that's more for fun and also to see if, how other builds would work and maybe showcase to you guys a bit more the flexibility of different uh, skill builds. Wait a second, we wanted to... Damn, now I wasted half a day. So, my Gravo no longer is needed here. 
we are changing from recruitment to supplies because we have now the maximum number of potential recruits done an extremely good job in recruiting and as a haven advisor if you're going for money you want an engineer luckily we have freed up engineers So this will spike our income to 300 per month and in the remaining 12 days they essentially are able to get to 166 which is great i absolutely like it so for here we got a new recruit as well so the recruitment definitely helps and we're soon going to go for intel because we want to make uh, we want to have missions going Everyone here is recruiting as well, so that's good. Do we have additional scientists that are available? One scientist is here and another scientist is there okay that'll further um, boost the uh, the Intel generation we're definitely want uh, going for 200% infiltrated network towers as the mission is really difficult and you want to get every edge that you can possibly take now we finally got the blue screen rounds and things are cooling down just a tiny bit, which I like. It gives us kind of this breathing moment that we need. Um, we can increase the soldier's bond. Yes, please. To level two, that's good. And what did I want to? Uh, what did I want to do? Um, oh yeah, blue screen rounds. So, blue screen rounds. Wreak havoc on targets. Yeah, well, that. Haha, <laughs> well, what does that mean? <sighs> See, that's why I hate descriptions that are incomplete. We don't. I want to understand what exactly our blue screen rounds doing. So let's take a soldier, potentially Mitch here. And if we were to give you blue screen rounds, hmm. Three additional damage instead of five and remove some defensive shields. Okay. Yeah, I don't know yet. I mean, I guess with, Shred with Shredder together, it can be good. I can still see the value in it. I would need to think through how we're going to deal uh, deal with it because it, it is limited to um, mechanical units. On the other hand, these are the ones that are mostly highly um, armored. Chosen hunter to this region. New regional contact located. Good. We're making contact. Uh, we're basically making contact over here, North America, and let's start out with really again recruiting. 
I don't need any more missions. We're fine for now. Essentially, these two areas here are the ones where we're triggering missions. They also have incredibly high vigilance levels, look at that 24 here and 18 in South Africa. So that is a lot. It, basically, the strength rating will, will skyrocket. I am thinking about what we should do in terms of scanning. Let's maybe help everyone to heal a bit faster for a few days. That's not a bad start. And I'm assuming that we're soon going to get a few more missions. But because uh, basically how it works is once the mission timer is done, uh, basically the, uh, the mission, or once the mission spawns, basically there is a time until um, until you can do the mission and after uh, that time elapses there is a period of I think two to three uh, in-game days until the ne uh, the next mission can spawn so there is a maximum of um, uh, of uh, concurrent missions that can spawn overall uh, that is why why they're always spawning like in chunks because we're we're finishing them in chunks Officer training. That's good. I like it. Let's continue our officer training in general. Like I said, we don't want to waste any time here in Long War. I would like to... Hmm... We technically have two Shinobis uh, ready. You know what? I like the get some. That's a very aggressive one. But I think we're going to go for incoming this time. I want to test how it really plays out because we're fighting against a lot of mechs and being able to ignore four points of explosion damage is a freaking lot. And there we go. I predicted it. Here we go. Six days. That's a smash and grab mission. So an easy one. Let me deploy a newbie team. Let me do that real quick. Good, and we're back. So, the rookie team. Oh shit, I forgot to uh, support. Sorry. Yeah, I could unfortunately only field five instead of six uh, soldiers. So, we're going in with those five. Pretty standard uh, team. Uh, all of the four quote unquote core classes plus a mech. And that should be it, the rookie squad. Yeah, I wouldn't want to go into a mission without a specialist. In my perspective, probably the most important class in the game. In position to drop. Just because it gets you out of oh shit sit situations. Um, the revival protocol. As well as many other just Setting great benefits. It's never a wasted slot, and the reason why we haven't lost as many soldiers on this entire um, playthrough is because we're always having a plan B, and the plan B often involves a specialist. You had to expect I'd come for your friends eventually, Commander. I can't have them out there spreading word of your exploits. 
Yeah, so it doesn't really matter that Indonesia is being cracked down. Not right now. Wiping out entire camps of resistance supporters. We're their only line of defense. Nice one. We're getting more leadership training done, which is good. Let's double check again whom we can use. By class. We want all of the shinobis to definitely have the leadership abilities. And I want the specialists as well to go through leadership training. So that on all, all of the missions you have at least one leader. The abilities are super helpful and these two classes tend to like trade away there. Uh, one one of the two classes, the uh, Shinobi trades away essentially uh, their ability to participate in the combat because uh, they are uh, stealth and these uh, skills give them an option to still participate and the specialist on the other hand uh, trades away uh, his turns for others. Anyways, powered armor, uh, which is a great uh, stepping stone. I fear that the powered armor is going to be quite expensive though. So it's probably that falls under the category of uh, we have researched it, but we're not able to really produce it. Yeah, we don't want to render any corpse now. Uh, we don't have the supplies for coil guns. But I think I'm afraid that that might be necessary because we need more firepower. And coil guns is the next logical step. So we need to get 100 supplies. And we got, as always, zero. So let's check for the weapons. Uh, for, for the armor, first and foremost. Um, powered armor, there we go. <sighs> 80 supplies, that's a lot. And I think we got one powered armor here, warden armor. Okay, so that's the normal one. Yeah, hmm. I'm going to be honest, that is probably reserved for the prime team, prime two teams. I don't think that we are going to have the funds of affording it for a really broader set. That's 80 per pop. Avenger plotting yeah, I don't think so. uh, that's going to be feasible. I mean, even with being able to sell as much as we can currently, because uh, luckily we have been collecting quite a few corpses and so on. But boy, that's a lot. Setting some more corpses. Okay. And that allows us to do coil gun research. Commander, the lab is currently idle. We're wasting valuable time and resources by not conducting any research. Good. So, coil guns, basically a no-brainer here. Unfortunately, the coil guns will be similarly expensive. So, really same issue. The good part about it is we have quite a few weapons now, uh, so they will pass down to the lower uh, level soldiers. 
There we go, Colgan Research. I had assumed you'd make that research a priority, Commander. I'll notify and that's just to get the weapons researched, where it's not even to use them. So I can definitely see where where a lot of the difficulty spike is coming from. If you wouldn't be as successful in completing the missions, you would almost um, fall behind. Um, you would almost fall behind on the monetary scale. Yes, you could. Uh, you could produce more and more supplies and kind of counteract it. But damn, it's a lot. So we got a new recruit. Brazil looks really good. We're at uh, 10, uh, 10 operators there, which means we can soon start scanning for missions. And that's great. Got ourselves plus one uh, a promotion and a really, really, really good, um, a really, really good, what's it called, resistance order. Might as well want to continue and locate one of the Chosens. The question is, can we already take him down? Uh -huh. We can definitely put Tracy Elliott onto this mission. Together with Mitch Mitchell. And let's put another soldier on the mission to prevent an ambush. Okay, good enough. So we're going to get plus four dodge, which isn't the best reward ever but we get an additional resistance order and we increase our uh, faction with the reapers so i want to probably get uh, to level three with all of them rather soon now only stopping for really really good rewards or um, uh, the reduction of the avatar uh, program because that way we are um, having a chance to infiltrate the strongholds sooner than later, which means I don't need to defend the Avenger again for 15 times. Scanning in the liberated region just to get up uh, the income. We got Catalina Rodriguez uh, with all of her negative traits uh, that are removed. Continuing negative trait removal. There should be always someone who is taking advantage of the negative trait removal. Let's double check real quick that we don't have anyone idling. There is uh, a recruit here who could help recruiting. Yeah, our new outposts are steadily growing. I like it. Oh, nice. That's a security breach for a potential 
for a potential uh, mm, faces one. Great. So we sniff them out. And we're probably simply going there to immediately start the mission, right? Yeah, okay, we're ending the, uh, this episode here and we're uh, continuing with the mission basically in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, it's a pleasure as always. Uh, if you enjoyed the stream um, or this mission, uh, please leave a comment and a like below and see you in the next run. Bye bye.